Well, hey there, everybody. I've had a lot of requests from people to make this video. This is a video introducing you to my fiance, Genevieve. That's me. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. Fiance? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. We just had a live stream. There was live, live from home number 38. And I'm um, in Quebec City, which mm -hmm. is your hometown. It is. And uh, we first met here at the F Festival Dieti. Is that how you say it? <laughs> the no? Festival Dieti. Yeah, I used to work there. Well, I was an intern actually the year you played. It was 19, and it was literally the second night <laughs> that I was working there. And um, yeah, everyone was making fun of me because it was like the classic story of the intern falling in love with this guitar player from Australia. Um, but I made it work and out. I was about 23. <laughs> you were 24. 24 yeah. at the time. <laughs> We kind of exchanged contact information, mm -hmm. and on her business card were, was the link to her portraits, which are spectacular. She's an incredible artist. I saw those portraits and I was like, oh my gosh, this person is, is remarkable. And so we kept in touch. I asked you to come to Nashville to make an album cover. Mm -hmm. Came down there and, and we had a nice time hanging out. But nothing romantic had really happened. I tried. <laughs> we kind of just kept in touch and became closer and closer. And I came up here to visit one time. Mm -hmm. And we started dating. Here we are. How many years later? Five years later? Almost five, yeah. <laughs> Seriously And crazy. so now we're engaged to be married. I, I proposed in Dolny Post Evan, the Czech Republic. And that was like over a year ago now, about 18 months ago. We've been waiting for the U.S. government to grant her a visa, but it, they're just so slow. It's kind of in two parts. The first part, you have to actually prove to government that a relationship is real, mm -hmm. which is really funny. So that part, they approved us. They recognize that we are a couple, so that's good. But then the second part is actually I need to use that documentation to prove, not to prove, but to apply for the visa. And so that's what we're waiting on. We haven't been able to apply for the visa yet. Um, so there's that. I haven't learned French yet. Genevieve's first language is French. Uh -huh. Well, that's not true. He knows how to talk about the food a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm learning very slowly. <laughs> it's really nice because you're a creative person and mm -hmm. I'm a creative person. You have a YouTube channel now as well, which is? I didn't know that we were going to talk about this. Well, if you want to learn about how to draw cute things, because <laughs> that's what I do. I do have a YouTube channel, it's growing, it's still pretty small, but it's um, Genevieve's Design Studio, and I, I speak in English on there, so it's not about you know French or anything. You play piano beautifully. There's a piano in the background, I'm sure people can see, but she, she won't play in front of me. <laughs> okay, you can bring the YouTube channel, but the piano is out of line. <laughs> um, and, and she has a guitar too and plays guitar, but I've never even I heard mean, you play. I think I just, tuned it since I've met you and that's pretty much it. I got a guitar when I, I turned 18, which I I love my guitar and I was really grateful to get it. And I got it because I was living in this apartment and didn't have a piano anymore. Mm -hmm. But as opposed to you, my instrument is, is the piano. Like I know you say that you could not stand the piano and you were really, really excited to learn and play the guitar mm -hmm. so that you could go and move around. I'm not like that. The piano is my thing, and now I'm, I have one, and so I'm just really happy to have one. And the guitar is just now this beautiful thing on the wall, which is a little bit sad because it's still a beautiful instrument, but I'm much more of a piano girl, and I'm much more of a drawing girl. But if I had to pick, it would be piano. For anyone that doesn't know anything about Quebec City, what is there to say? Well, I think the main thing is that it's really cold. <laughs> That's true. But I think it's a really great city in the sense that there is a lot of culture here. We have a great art museum and music is a big, big deal. We were talking earlier about meeting at the music festival. I mean, it's literally the biggest music festival in Canada, which is pretty cool. I mean, we had the Rolling Stones, we had Foo Fighters, Real Chili Peppers, Sting, Peter Gabriel, like all the big names, we had them. And people just love arts here. I think it's part of the culture because winters are so hard. You're kind of stuck inside your house for such a long period of time, like eight 
months in a row. And so whenever it starts being nice and beautiful outside, everyone's just like, okay, let's go and listen to some music and let's party and let's be creative. So it's a really lively city four months out of the year <laughs> and the rest <laughs> is just cold. But I think I might be biased, but I think people are really, really kind here and just so welcoming. Um, and we do speak French, especially in Quebec City. If you go in Montreal, it's not not as bad, not that speaking French is bad, but you know, in Montreal you can get by with just speaking English, but in Quebec it's a bit harder. But yeah, it's just a great city. And you've been to Australia? Yeah. You know, my family in Australia. <laughs> that was a fun trip. It really was. And it's interesting to see the similarities between yeah. Canada and Australia, which would you would not necessarily expect because they're literally on opposite sides of the world. Yeah, I mean, we, we couldn't be further. For, no. <laughs> you know, couldn't be born further apart. But yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful that, that, that we met and that we were able to make it work, yeah. you know, across borders and long distance relationships are, are hard. You know, I know a lot of people out there have, have been through that. And, um, and I thank you for your patience. <laughs> I, well, that's, that's what I always say to my friends when, when they're like, why are you doing this basically? <laughs> like, how do you do it? And for me, yes, it is hard, a long distance relationship, but it's also really reassuring in the sense that like every day we make the conscious, conscious choice of choosing each other and choosing the relationship, although it's hard. And so for me, it's a proof that even if it's, it gets hard, you're gonna be by my side. Like we've done, we've done this. Mm -hmm. Like we we fought to to be together, and we're just making it work. So for me, yes, it's hard, but it's also just a proof that we both want to be in this and do this, and it's great. But yeah. it's gonna be nice when it's over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we share a lot of the same values, and I mean, we always have fun together, and we've traveled together a lot. You know, you've been on on the road, and you've seen you've seen what that is. And I say travel together, I mean, and uh, memories immediately come to mind of like being in Nashville, then flying to Los Angeles, playing a show, flying back to Nashville, going to my, my immigration ceremony to be sworn in as a U.S. citizen, then flying back the next day <laughs> to San Francisco to play a show. It's kind of like I had a tour in California and I had to fly back to Nashville and it was like, I mean, that was just within like three days. Yeah. Um, to me, the craziest time was... The trip we got engaged. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he proposed in Dolnipostevna. Then we had a three-hour drive back to Prague, and we had to wake up at four that morning to fly to Amsterdam. And then we had to drive from Amsterdam to I don't remember where, but it was like... <laughs> Honestly, that was, that was my fault for booking 17 shows in 17 days in like 10 countries. <laughs> and I mean, so. he drives himself. Like, I don't drive. So he did it all himself, and... Like when you see him as a show, not only is he putting out a great show, but like everything that comes around it is a lot of work. So. Yeah, no, it's a. F I mean, touring is a full-on commitment. Is it different than you expected? Being with me, me the musician, that is. She's very patient putting up with me playing the same song, over and over and over and over and over again. Depends on the song. <laughs> <laughs> Some songs are worse than others. Well, you know, I. You're my first boyfriend and fiance, obviously. And so I did not really have any expectation coming in a relationship because it's my first relationship. But there was there was no surprise yeah. in spending more and more time with you other than just realizing how much I loved it. <laughs> and although it's crazy sometimes, it's always just such an adventure. And I'm really grateful because I got to do uni online. Mm -hmm. And now my job is online as well, which means I get to be a part of the adventure. Um, but no, I don't think I don't think there was anything that was like, oh, that's weird, or like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that, or I like don't like that. So people are gonna wondering what what did you study? Well, I have two degrees because here in Quebec we're really really lucky. Um, it's fairly cheap <laughs> to study, so I wanted to take advantage of that. I have a graphic design degree and a business degree with a focus on entrepreneurship. So that's the business degree that I entirely did online. And I actually got to meet Joe because I was interning as a graphic designer for the um, music festival. So. I'm, I'm really grateful that we met and I'm grateful that I can introduce you to people because I think you're a really special person. 
and I think what we have is very special. And uh, I know that people really enjoy meeting you. So. so I hope you enjoyed meeting Genevieve. And for the record, you know, in the song that's, that's named after her, I say Genevieve because that rhymes. Whereas Genevieve, it's kind of like, it's difficult to rhyme. Genevieve seems complicated for some people. It's fine. <laughs> but I don't I, mind. I just call her babe. <laughs> hey, hey, babe. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.